live? I think I'm live. Anybody watching yet? I better wait a few minutes for people to tune in. All right. Forgot my gloves. All right, so far nobody's watching. Come on, someone leave a comment and say, tell me if you're watching me. All right. Still no comments. Oh, someone commented. All right. Hey guys. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Thanks for commenting. All right. Can you hear me okay? Let me know if you can hear me. My microphone's over here. All right. So uh, I'll wait a couple seconds uh, just so more people come on before I tell you the theme of this video, which um, I already revealed in the title. The title of this video, Hoarfrost. <clears throat> what is Hoarfrost, guys? <sighs> Should have brought my gloves out here, it's freezing. All right, so this is just a quick video. I just wanted to uh, show you guys Hoarfrost here in Calgary, Alberta. So this, my friends, is Hoarfrost. It's, it kind of looks like, it kind of looks like snow, right? But it's not snow. It's, uh, it's, it's frost, okay? It's, it's, uh, what's the difference between frost and snow? Um, I don't know. Frost is like frozen mist, okay? So this, it didn't snow. Right, that's my point. So my point is, like, you can see here on the tree, that white stuff, right? It, that, it didn't snow here in Calgary. So where did that white stuff come from? How did it get there? Well, it got there because of, uh, actually, you can see how misty it is, right? I mean, you can barely see those buildings over there. So the mist, I mean, it's, there's a lot of moisture in the air. And uh, so the moisture, I'm not a scientist, guys. I don't know how hoarfrost forms, but it forms the, like, like the moisture in the air, the mist like collects on the branches, right? So it just kind of sticks to the branches and that's, that's, that's what hoarfrost is. So. As I'm just gonna jaywalk here. I should flip the camera around to show you guys where I'm going. Can I? My hands are too cold. Okay, so we're just walking, guys. Thanks for joining me in this video. It's just another live video. I uh, wasn't planning to make a video, but um, I looked out of my window and I thought, hey, there's a lot of hoarfrost. This might be a good time to go live and show you guys what hoarfrost is just show you some sites from here in Calgary Alberta you know hoarfrost is so beautiful honestly it's uh it's just great you know it's it's kind of like it just makes everything look like winter you know like uh let me find a really nice looking tree I don't know where I should walk guys I'm just I'm just moseying on down the sidewalk here and uh, yeah oh I was telling someone the other day about our community mailboxes how uh, <clears throat> so these mailboxes Stephen Harper brought these mailboxes in Stephen Harper was the Prime Minister of Canada from around I think 2006 to 2014 maybe something like that um, before Canada had door-to-door -door mail delivery, but uh, yeah, they they thought it would be a better system to bring in these like mailboxes. So all around, like if you if we keep walking, you'll see their mailboxes kind of all over the place, just small little community mailboxes. 
So, um, I should flip my camera around so you can see me again. You get a dose, get your dose of Mark, vitamin Mark for the day, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just uh, walking here in the frosty weather. I see some nice trees over here. Let's go over here and uh, check out the trees. So, okay. Yeah, I mean, you can see here just how beautiful these trees are, guys. Let me flip my camera around again. Okay, so I mean, look at this bush, right? This bush would just be a normal bush. Nothing special, right? But with the hoarfrost, it doesn't it look amazing? Guys, it just looks so beautiful. Like, it's just a normal bush, right? Look at that bush. It's just an average bush. And look at this tree, guys. Okay, this is beautiful, right? Is, someone let me know in the comments. Is that not beautiful? Is that not so beautiful, guys? Like, that's a normal tree. Like, on an average day, it wouldn't really look that great. I mean, it's just a normal tree, right? But but with the hoarfrost, I mean, guys, just look at the, look at these. Just look at that. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Let me just shake it, all right, so you can see. So those are pine needles. There. Bad tree. Bad. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> look, look how thin those needles are, those pine needles. Right, and look how thick they are with hoar, hoar frost. Like, I want you guys to understand the difference between snow and hoar frost. When it snows, it doesn't go around. Like, like if it snows, it would come from the top, right? So imagine like this, this bunch of pine needles here, right? If it were to snow, right, the snow comes from the top, and then it snows, and it would just, um, like it would just, it would collect on the branches and it would weigh the branch down like that. But there wouldn't be snow like under here. Like look at, look at that. So this, this, it, it's like it collects evenly on, uh, on, on, on everything. That's the interesting thing about hoarfrost. It's just like, it just collects on everything. And uh, that's why it's just so gorgeous. Man, this is just amazing. I wonder if I can eat hoarfrost. I've never eaten hoarfrost. Let me eat some hoarfrost, guys. Mm. It's not bad. <laughs> hey, that's actually pretty good. Let me eat some more hoarfrost. Ready? I'll eat some hoarfrost for you. Mmm. <laughs> Smash like if you love if you wish you could eat some hoarfrost right now. So, yeah, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful this is because um, it's, it just makes everything so white. Like, like, look at that. Everything is just covered in, in frost. Like just these small little trees that wouldn't look very great, but they're just completely covered in hoarfrost. Now, you can tell which way the wind was blowing by which, by like, so, I mean, you can see here, okay? Look at that, okay? Uh, is that focusing? Come on, focus on this branch. I don't know why my camera's not focusing, but you can see these lines are going this way, right? So that means the wind was coming from that direction and just blew them this way. So... Like there's no there's no frost here, right? But it like the wind was strong and it just blew all the frost going this way. So, yeah, it's interesting. Such an interesting world, eh? Man, yeah. I mean, here you can see it as well. Like the wind was blowing uh, like that way because there's no frost here, and it just just was. Yeah, blue it all. But with these pine needles, it seems like it collected really evenly on on all the branches. Yeah. I don't know, guys. This is just great. So, um, hey, if you're just tuning in now, welcome. I just wanted to uh, say hi and show you guys the hoarfrost. So I'll just show you one more shot of the hoarfrost. You can go back in the video and watch me eat some hoarfrost and uh, just kind of explain what hoarfrost is. 
So thanks for tuning in. I'll just give you another shot of these awesome bushes. Man, those are such beautiful bushes, guys. Just look at that. Mmm. <laughs> There's the Canadian ice cream. Hoarfrost ice cream. So guys, yeah, just a quick video. I didn't, like I said, I didn't have anything special to tell you. I just wanted to show you the beautiful hoarfrost and walk around a little bit. I forgot my gloves at home. So my hands are freezing. <laughs> but uh, it's all right. I got you guys to cheer me up. You guys keep me warm. Hey, look at this nice bench over here. Just show you this bench. The bench is covered in hoarfrost too. <laughs> wow, look at this. This is cool. So like, like the wind must have come from that direction, right? That direction is, uh, is west. So it must have been a pretty strong westerly wind yesterday. You can see the metal ends right here. The metal ends here. And then you've got all this frost there. I mean, look at that. Yeah. And you can see here on the bench, it's, it's, it's great to see that too. Cause you can see exactly all the lines are going in this direction, right? So, uh, Angela's asking, how does it taste? It tastes like snow, actually. There's very little difference between the taste of frost and snow. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's, I don't know, it kind of tastes like ice. If you've ever eaten ice, it's kind of what it tastes like. It's just frozen water. So, yeah. Thank you guys. I haven't been uh, keeping up with all the comments, but thank you so much for the com all the comments. I wonder if I missed any, any comments. Yeah, I think I missed a lot of comments. People are saying hi from all around the world. So thank you guys so much. Hi. Uh, from here in Calgary, Alberta. Yeah, I should have put some flavors. I should have brought my maple syrup and made uh, made hoarfrost maple syrup ice cream. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Wow, look at these this bunch of trees, guys. Isn't that cool? They're all covered in white. And you can see it didn't snow, right? So, so the path is clear. I mean. Uh, yeah, it, like, um, I mean, sometimes like these uh, snow blowers come and clean the paths, but you can tell that's not what happened here. This isn't because it. I mean, how do I explain it? Um, like, when it snows, it's obvious that it snowed, whereas now it's it didn't. I mean, it has snowed in the past. Like this, this right here, is snow. Right, this is frozen snow from a few days ago. And you can tell the difference between snow and frost, right? So this is snow, but this here is frost. And on the trees, it's not snow, it's frost. Okay, so so that's, that's just the point I wanted to uh, get across to you guys in this video just explain the difference between snow and hoarfrost because you might see this site and you might think wow it's snowed right it looks like kind of looks like snow but it's a difference and it's an important difference between snow and hoarfrost okay so here's some more pine needles here these pine needles don't look quite as frosty as the other ones but uh Hope you guys can hear me okay. I've got my microphone attached to my ca my phone, my iPhone here. And so you're hearing me through that. So anyway, oh, I was gonna post a video today. Maybe I'll delay that video till tomorrow. <laughs> so here, dog guys. Yeah, maybe I'll post my video tomorrow. Should I give you a hint? It's English for Indonesians. That's what the title of the video is, English for Indonesian speakers. So if you're, if you're an Indonesian speaker, you got something special coming for you tomorrow. English for Indonesians. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's, I'll post that video tomorrow. What's today? I think it's Wednesday, today. 
um, tomorrow is maybe Thursday. I think it's when. Let me know. Is it Wednesday or Thursday today? I can't remember. I think tomorrow is Thursday, so I'll post. Can you hear that dog? There's a dog barking over there. Oh, guys, I'll just uh, flip my camera around and show you this cool little playground here. So yeah, I'll post that video tomorrow, guys, so you guys can see it. Learn some, uh, learn a common mistake that Indonesian speakers often make. So this is so beautiful, guys, with these lights and with the hoarfrost. I'll go up close to one of these lights and hoarfrost branches here. Look at that, there's hoarfrost on the lights too. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Well, the sun is setting here, guys. It's, uh, <clears throat> I think it's about six. Obviously, there's no sun here. The mist. Look at that, how misty it is, foggy. I don't know if that's fog or like mist. I guess it's fog, probably. Yeah, it's so foggy. Yeah, so the sun sets up over there, but like, you know, you can't tell where the sun is, right? If it's over there or it's over there. It all looks the same. The sky is really kind of kind of dark and foggy. It's kind of a cool, it's kind of cool weather here. Oh, someone's asking, what's the uh, temperature? Hey, Coffee Holic, what a cool name. Coffee Holic is asking, I could go with a coffee right now. You guys should buy me a coffee right now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so Coffee Holic is asking, what's the temperature? Oh guys, there's some jackrabbits. Just found a whole bunch of jacks. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Last in my last live video, I was looking for these guys, but I couldn't. It, it took me a long time to find them. But there's one, two, three, four, and then over there is one, two, three. Let's zoom in. Guys, hopping away. Oh yeah, in my last video, guys, I was telling you about the changing coat, how the how the coat kind of changes colors in the in the winter. So you can see their coat is already changing, right? It's it's white, but in, in like the dead of winter, like in, in, in December, January, it, their coat is like pure white. It matches the, it matches the snow. But you can see here, this guy's, this guy's fur coat is actually turning brown. See on its back, it's not solid white anymore. So that happens naturally around this time of year. The rabbits start turning um, from white to brown. So you can see all of them are over there. Man, big family of Mr. Jack rabbits. <laughs> so, uh, isn't that cool? There's so many right there. And, uh, yeah, they live all over this community, guys. They're just wild. Live, live just in the wild here. And, um, you know, an interesting thing about, about Jack rabbits is they're, I think they're the fastest animal on earth. They're one of the fastest land animals like probably a cheetah is a little bit faster maybe in full speed but I think these I think rabbits can run like they can almost go as fast as a car like they, they go like 80 kilometers an hour I think and the thing about jackrabbits is like you know like cheetahs when cheetahs are in full stride full stride means they're just running like <laughs> full out when cheetahs are in full stride they can't really turn corners that quickly yeah they can with their long tail right their long tail helps them helps them kind of maneuver oh hey Layla bought me a coffee thank you guys so much thank you so much Layla for the wonderful coffee I'll go grab a coffee after this video and um yeah and uh warm up my hands I'll hold the coffee with my hand <laughs> warm up my hand but um you know when a cheetah is running right let's say a cheetah is trying to chase down a a gazelle or something the the gazelle can turn really quick and so do cheetahs with their tail their tail helps them kind of balance these maneuvers but it's nothing com compared to a jackrabbit okay a jackrabbit can be running like like 80 kilometers an hour in this direction and then suddenly like zigzag 
that way. It's ridiculous. Like, it's, imp it's absolutely impossible to try to catch a jackrabbit. But the other day I saw some kids trying to catch a jackrabbit. It was kind of funny to watch the kids. There's just no chance. There's absolutely no chance. Let me try it. You know what? You guys want to see me try to catch a jackrabbit? Well, I won't run. I don't want to drop my camera, but uh, like, yeah. So someone's saying cheetah is the fastest. I think cheetahs are the fastest, but, but these are actually pretty close. I mean, when you see these things running full speed, it's insane. Um, like they're huge legs. They've got these massive, massive back legs. Hey, that one's cleaning itself. Look at that. It's good washing its hands, keeping its hands clean during the pandemic. It's a good rabbit. Observing social distancing. Those rabbits aren't really observing social distancing, guys. I don't think they're two meters apart. You bad rabbits not following the protocol. So, like, it, you know, the thing is when I walk and try to get near them, they run away. Maybe I can sneak up on this guy. Oh, I can't sneak up on them. Let me just try to run a little bit and see if I can. I better not slip on the, I better not slip on the grass. <laughs> see, these the rabbits aren't even trying to get away from, they, they know they're, the rabbits are, <laughs> the rabbits are so fast that they, they don't even need to try to get away from me. They know I'm just a, I'm just a human. There's no chance I could catch one of these rabbits. But it's interesting. Um, yeah, they're one of the fastest land animals. And I'd say they're probably the best because they can, they, like a cheetah would not be able to catch a jackrabbit. That's my point. Because the jackrabbits can change direction so fast. So I don't think there's any animal, I mean, maybe if an animal gets lucky, but I don't think jackrabbits can really be hunted by, by wild animals. Like maybe, uh, I'm trying to think about here in Canada, if there are any animals that would hunt a jackrabbits or even try to hunt a, a jackrabbit, maybe like a lynx. Do you know what lynx, a lynx is like a, uh, <clears throat> kind of a big cat, like a bobcat. That's what a lynx is. And uh, that's the only animal that's coming to mind that might try to catch a jackrabbit. Because wolves would not be able to catch a, a jackrabbit. A bear would not be able to catch one. A cougar? Cougars are really big cats. So a cougar would not be able to catch a jackrabbit. So what on earth would be able to catch a jackrabbit? I should do some research. I should, I should find out. I'd be interested to find out whether or not jackrabbits actually get hunted. Or they, if they just die a natural death in the wild. Because like some animals I think are just impossible to, to catch. Some of these animals like, um, yeah, like maybe a lynx or a cougar. I don't know, I can't think of any animal that would be able to hunt a cougar. Like, the only animal strong enough to kill a cougar would be like a bear. But, but bears aren't that fast. No, bears are fast. I think bears could probably run maybe like 40 kilometers an hour. Maybe, maybe more than that. Maybe like, maybe 50, 60 kilometers an hour. In full, like when they're going full tilt. But, um... But bears, <laughs> bears can't, when bears are running, they can't change directions, right? <laughs> so, so there's no, there's no way they'd be able to catch a cougar or a lynx or a jackrabbit or anything like that. So, so some animals, that would be cool to be an animal that would be impossible to be hunted, right? Kind of like a bear. I don't know. Do bears, bears probably hunt each other. Maybe, I don't know if bears get in fights in the wild, but wouldn't that be interesting, eh? To be an animal that's like, that's like impossible. You've got some superpower and that's it. That's impossible for other animals to hunt you. Like a jackrabbit's got speed and agility. The word agile, if you're agile, that means you, um, 
you are like flexible you can like you know like for jackrabbits jackrabbits can jump really high they can jump over things they can duck under things they can like zigzag and everything so yeah jackrabbits are how they have their their superpower is agility speed and agility bears bear superpower would be like just raw strength right pure size sheer size and strength and a cougar's superpower would be stealth stealth and because you can't even like it's rare to see cougars in the wild they don't they, they don't really they don't just walk around out in the open like a cougar wouldn't just be kind of walking around you know a cougar would be like hiding behind a tree and you wouldn't even see it there and then it might pounce on you and like kill you right so if you got killed by a cougar you wouldn't even hear it coming it would just suddenly be there and kill you whereas a bear you'd hear a bear coming bears bears aren't quiet animals right a bear could just comes crashing through the woods yeah but uh yeah it's so cold guys <laughs> but um let me know if you were if you could have could choose a superpower what superpower would you choose I think it would be cool to be a jackrabbit. Be agile, quick, nimble. Oh, that's a good word, nimble. Nimble means, um, like, yeah, that, that same idea. Like, if you can kind of go under things, around things, you know, really quick and, and agile, you're nimble. Let me know, are you, are you nimble? Are you a nimble person? Agile? Um, I'll just show you this fog here again, guys. Like, see, you can you can hardly see those houses over there. That's how foggy it is. And uh, this is the spot I was at two years ago, I think it was, when I showed you the longest day of the year. I think I came out here in June, sometime around the longest day of the year. And the sun was setting over there. The sun, it like, okay, so that's west. And that's north. The sun was setting in the summer. The sun sets over there. It's like sets out in like the north, the northwest. So, yeah, I made a video right out here on this field about two years ago, showing you guys just how late it is when it's still light. It was like almost midnight. I was out here at like 11:30, and you could still see the light in the sky over there. So that's how crazy. Isn't that crazy? that in the in the summer the sun sets even at like midnight it's uh <clears throat> it's still you can see a little bit of light on the horizon so yeah it's just like dead out here guys just listen to how quiet it is there's just like nothing out here just me and me and the hoar frost oh i was going to tell you that the the word hoar this word hoar frost, okay, as you can see in the title of this video, it's spelled H-O-A-R, okay, hoar. Now, hoar has another meaning, which means prostitute. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> um, excuse me, the, the word hoar also means prostitute. So if you call someone a hoar, you're calling them a prostitute, but that spelling is different, okay? If you, if you, uh, if you spell the word whore, like a prostitute, that spelling is W-H-O-R-E. W-H-O-R-E. So don't call anyone whores. It's not a nice thing to call someone a whore. Um, people, people say it in like a, dis like a, as like an insult or a disrespectful, you know. She's a whore, you know. That, that, that girl's a whore. They might say something like that, right? That's a disrespectful um, way to, 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 to talk about a woman. Um, but this whore is okay. You can see this whore. <laughs> now this whore is H-O-A-R. H-O-A-R, whore, like boar. The word boar, like a, a wild pig, is called a boar. B-O-A-R, boar. Uh, what other words are like that? O-A-R, or? Like if you're on a boat and you got the, 
kind of got the paddle. Those that's called an oar, an oar, O A R. Um, there are probably other words like that, O A R. Um, make the oar sound. So, anyway, guys, I've been going now live for 30 minutes. I can see, and uh, got 62 people watching. So, thank you guys so much. Oh, I'm so lucky to have such great friends all around the world to keep my hands warm when they're freezing. <sighs> yeah, so the temperature, sorry, I, I forgot to answer the question about the temperature. I got distracted by the jackrabbits. The temperature out here, I'm guessing it's probably like, it's not that cold, it's maybe like minus five maybe, or, but it feels probably closer to minus 10. I would say if you, the, the feeling of this temperature right now is about minus 10. Maybe, maybe minus 15 even. I don't know, it's pretty cold, it's pretty chilly. But uh, let's just take a look at the hoarfrost on these workout things. So guys, if you're just tuning in to this, to this live stream, uh, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. I'm talking about hoarfrost, which is this this kind of like white stuff that looks like snow but it's not snow it's a completely different thing it's called hoarfrost you can see here so the wind came from that direction and hoarfrost forms on really foggy days like this so you can see how foggy it is out here right when it's really foggy the moisture in the air collects on everything tree branches workout equipment <laughs> all of that stuff yeah it's uh it's called it's called hoarfrost and it makes the plants look really beautiful look at that bush look at that nice bush <laughs> that's so cool yeah it just looks so awesome it makes the branches so big right like you can see like look how thin that is okay i don't know if you can see in the camera look how thin that little that little branch is or whatever it's called and then look how big it looks like with, with the hoarfrost, right? Can I pick it? There we go. Yeah, you can see. It just like, it triples the size. Honestly, it like triples the size of the branch. That's why it looks so beautiful. Because all these bushes just have really thin, kind of thin branches, right? But uh, it just makes everything look so full and so big. So, yeah. Anyway. My nose is running, guys. It's kind of freezing out here. But that's just what I wanted to say. That's all I wanted to make a live stream about is, is the word hoarfrost. So that's what hoarfrost is, my friends. Here in Canada, it happens every winter. You know, not, not all the time, um, but sometimes. Like, like, I don't know, I'd say it's it maybe happened like this. This is nice. This is a good example where it's like really pretty thick hoarfrost on the branches. So I'm happy I could show you that today. But um, anyway, I don't know. It happens maybe like once a month in the winter, maybe once every couple weeks, probably. We get a really good hoarfrost where it's like the branches look really, really big and white and everything. So yeah. So it happens kind of it's a regular winter thing but it doesn't happen all the time it's not like every winter like like uh, probably if it warms up a little bit tomorrow or the next day all the frost will melt and then there'll be no more frost on the branches so it's uh, it's kind of a special thing when it happens like I said maybe happens I don't know maybe like 10 times a winter maybe 20 times every winter like this uh, where the trees are nice and beautiful like this but it, o it only happens on days that it's really foggy, okay? So, yeah. So, someone's asking, why are we not hitting a million subs? That's a good question, sorry. Uh, just gotta... When are we hitting a million subs? End of the year, I don't know guys, you help me. <laughs> help me get subscribers. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. My subscriber count is just kind of like in the in the toilet these days so you guys think of some ideas how I can get more subscribers <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to make videos hoarfrost maybe nobody's interested in hoarfrost maybe that's why I don't have any subs these days but uh, anyway thank you guys I really appreciate all my 400 and some thousand subscribers 
You guys are so special. I really love you guys so much. And uh, thank you for making my life great. You guys really help me out. And I uh, just love hanging out with you guys in these live streams. Ooh, look at that light. Doesn't that light look cool? With the fog? <laughs> That's so cool. Look at that. That looks awesome. The lights and the fog. So Ahmed saying, I've been your subscriber for over two years. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for... Uh, you're just subs subscribing and, and being uh, such long-term subscribers. You know, sometimes some, some of my subscribers have been around for like four or five years now. My channel is turning five years old in a few months. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, guys, look at this fence. That is a cool-looking fence. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Like, usually a fence is just really, like thin metal pieces, right? Like let's let's clear the let's clear it off there. Like let's clear some of these pieces off, right? So normally a fence looks like that, but look at that. Isn't that a cool looking fence? <laughs> that is awesome. That makes the fence look so much better. And also these little things that they put around the tree, the tree stumps. Look at that. Doesn't that look cool? It's just a wire cage or whatever. I don't know what to call it kind of a wire fence that they put around and but with the hoarfrost it just looks awesome yeah so I just want to say thank you guys for for being my subscribers for such a long time you know I really appreciate that thank you for sticking with me and uh, yeah, it's such an honor to have such nice subscribers from all around the world so I really appreciate you oh that guy's speeding guy's probably going 60 kilometers in it maybe 50 kilometers an hour in a maybe I don't know what the speed limit is here maybe 40 30 50 maybe it is 50 I don't know but uh, anyway guys my hands are freezing off here so I better I better log off um, so sorry I didn't answer all your comments I don't, I don't think I answered all your comments here um, yeah, Pines is saying those lights are cool and the uh, the fence is cool. Actually, everything is literally cool, right? <laughs> cool has two meanings, right? Cool can mean cold, kind of cold, not super cold. Cool means cold, but cool also means awesome, right? So stay cool, my friends. Stay cool and stay cool today. So that's it. I'll log off for now and... Um, I just want to say thank you again. I'll go get my coffee. I'll warm up and uh, warm up my hands and uh, and then I'll post my video tomorrow for Indonesian speakers. So stay tuned for that guys. As always, I love you so much. Stay safe, stay happy, take care and I'll see you guys over in the next episode of Mad English TV. <laughs> Bye for now.